Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Renaud, Developmental Optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, where we specialize in vision therapy. And if you're watching this, you probably struggle with balance and you're trying to get better at it. So hopefully this video is very informative for you to help you understand how the human body balances and how you can hopefully get better at it. If you enjoy this video, make sure to follow along with us, subscribe to our channel so you can see more vision related content that you'll enjoy. And let's get started. So balance is really the ability to conquer gravity and keep our bodies upright. It's the product of your eyes, your inner ears, and your feet working together. There's kind of a lot more to it, but that, that's the easiest way to understand balance is the visual system, the vestibular system, and the proprioceptive systems are all working together, combining data into the brain where your brain can understand this is a level world and this is how I keep my body upright in that world. And then as we move through the world, move through space, we can change our body position and the center of gravity to try to keep our body upright. Your balance starts with vision being able to see a perfectly level world. So if I'm leaning forward a bit, my visual horizon moves down a bit versus if I move backwards or side to side, I'm not seeing a level world. My inner ears have their, the vestibular system basically has little crystals inside of it that are, think of, think of like buoys out on the lake. You can see uh, the, these crystals, they will, they'll change positions so that we're trying to find where they're perfectly level. And if you're leaning one way, then now your ears are no longer level and your, your vestibular system feels that and refines what level is or what straight across is. And then as we're, say, going down a flight of stairs or walking an uneven terrain, our vestibular system can feel that and keep finding straight and uh, vertical all the time. As well as our feet, our proprioceptive system, your feet can feel the floor. If I'm leaning one way, I, I feel more, feet, more weight on my right foot than my left and I can rebalance where it's 50-50. Or if my center of gravity is forward and I'm on my toes, I can lean back to find that sweet spot where my body feels level. So all three of those, your eyes, your ears, and your feet, are all feeding your brain information. And with that data, your brain makes good decisions on how to balance. And it starts, the easiest way to balance is just to lay down, and then it, it, the, we increase difficulty by sitting up, and then standing up, and then moving. So as we uh, navigate our world and get up and move around, that's the bigger balance demand, is navigating space while in motion. So we start off as little kids trying to learn first how to balance and keep our body upright, get stronger legs, start mastering and conquering gravity, and then we start walking and we start running and then learning how to ride a bike, continuously challenging our balance systems and getting better and better at balancing. All the way to high level athletes, uh, they, can, they can move their body in all different body positions and as they manipulate their body into different positions, they can keep themselves upright, whether you're a skier or a basketball player or a baseball pitcher, uh, we can, no, no matter what position we're in, the, at the high level athletes can keep their, their body upright while keeping their eyes on whatever target they're aiming for. So if you have poor balance, that usually is more than just tripping and falling, but, but people with poor balance, maybe they even don't feel well. They could struggle with all sorts of motion type symptoms, motion sickness, car sickness, maybe you've had persistent vertigo kind of symptoms for a long time, dizziness, nausea, you get headaches when you're, when you're moving a lot. Uh, maybe you don't like busy places like the grocery store because there's so much moving around you and it's hard to keep up. You can feel like you're going into tunnel vision. Lots can go wrong when you have poor balance, more than just someone who trips and falls a lot. If you're motivated to fix this, there's lots of ways to get better at balance. First is just be just movement, be an active person that's moving and walking and, and constantly stimulating those areas in your brain that, that are, are used for balance. You can uh, exercise, ride your bike a lot, practice standing on one foot, get into a practice like yoga where you need to balance and, and stay on one foot uh, or, or in different body positions where you're on two feet but you're on the balls of your feet or your heels or you're, you're turning this way or that way. Now professionals can help you too. Uh, for instance, ourselves uh, in, in our optometric vision therapy practice, we help people balance all the time. So if you want to see how, how your vision is so important for balance, try stand up, stand on one foot, get your balance pretty good. And then once you close your eyes, you surely will feel something goes wrong. You start your, your 
foot starts wiggling and wobbling and you can't keep your balance very well anymore, you might lose it and have to put a foot down. So when your eyes are closed, it's much, much harder to balance. It's also harder to balance if you cover up an eye and create tunnel vision on the other eye. You've lost depth perception and peripheral vision, which are gigantically important for balance, much more than seeing that tiny 2020 letter on the, on the eye chart. Um, you know, there's so much to vision that, that plays into balance and it's really everything around what you're seeing, all of your visual spatial awareness is what helps you balance. So with our patients in vision therapy, we try to improve their, their, their visual balance. That's peripheral vision, that's depth perception, that's visual stability and keeping your eyes stable and not darting all around the room as your body follows your eyes around. Uh, then we also train you to have your eyes and your inner ears and your feet all communicate and talk together. So we, as you succeed in vision therapy, we'll put you up on a balance board to hold your body still, or we'll put you on a balance beam to have dynamic balance, and so many other tools we use in here to develop better balance training. And as the end result, most of our patients have, have good things to say at the end that they, they report uh, less motion and balance problems. They've got better balance, they don't get as car sick, they're not as dizzy. All of those motion symptoms they had in the beginning often are gone or, or much improved. So that's exciting, right? If you think we can help you, make sure to get started and, and get yourself on a path for improvement and, and getting better balance and less motion symptoms. So start by giving our office a call at 616-848-7548. Check out our website. There's tons of information on this at eagleeyevisiontherapy.com. Or if you're not in our area, you want to find a local optometrist who specializes in visual function and connecting the eyes with the rest of the body, then visit covd.org to find a local provider near you. So thank you for watching. Make sure to reach out in the comments if you like this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for, for upcoming videos and we'll see you in the future.